मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माइ सेल्फ डॉक्टर ऋषि एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोसाइंसेस सो टुडे आई एम टॉकिंग ऑन इंडस्ट्रियल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज इन इंडस्ट्रियल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी और बायोटेक्नोलॉजी माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज आर पर्टिकुलरली इंपॉर्टेंट टू सिंथेसाइज ए नंबर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर वेल्यूबल टू ह्यूमन बींग्स एंड है प्रोफाउंडली change our life and life spans these product include as you all know uh, bakery products beverages food additives so uh, in this way microbes play a uh, vital role in our uh, daily life the microorganisms or their products as i i have already mentioned earlier the their products have direct economic value second the motivation is profit profit and the generation of wealth by uh, developing this type of uh, new uh, chemicals new products by using a um, uh, various substrate moreover some chemical products may be made more cheaply by the action of microorganism on inexpensive media third microorganism can be grown in large and huge fermenter and scale up to any extent which is beneficial to us so in this slide you can uh, see the microbes are widely used to synthesize a number of products like uh, bakery products food and food additives like dextran dextran uh, all of you know that dextran used in uh, various soups various puddings and msg in chinese preparations alcoholic and non alcoholic beverages vinegars glycolic acids and some medicinal products pharmaceutical and other uh, like enzymes probiotics so industrial microbiology is synonymous with the term fermentation biochemically fermentation is an enzyme catalyzed energy gener generating process in which all in which organic compound act both as a electron donor and acceptor no other or external uh, molecule required to uh, proceed this reaction but in microbiology biomass production is also called a uh, fermentation the same way bio transformation process is also uh, termed as a um, fermentation but classically fermentation means spoilage of food like here in this picture you can see na this bubbling and the food is getting spoiled so that spoilage of food basically this term fermentation is come from latin word ferment ferment means to boil but in today's scenario any process mediated by or involving microorganism in which a product of economic value is obtained is called fermentation the activities in industrial microbiology begin with the isolation of microbes from the nature and their screening for product formation improve for um, product yield maintenance of culture mass culture using bioreactors and usually end up with the uh, recovery of product and their purification the majority of microbes involved in this process belongs to bacteria fungi and especially uh, some actinomycetes especially streptomyces family but all these Uh, microbes are not 
we can uh, use directly as an industrial micro because these industrial micro are uh, you can say these are metabolic specialist like uh, look actual industrial stains are usually far diverse from the wild type stains first isolated uh, uh, we know example of uh, penicillin penicillin was first isolated from the uh, microbe penicillium notatum by the alexander fleming but this species we are uh, not using as an industrial stain because the amount of antibiotic production is very less so after screening we discovered that for industrial production penicillin uh, penicillium chrysogenum is suitable for industrial purpose first quality to be a uh, uh, to be as an uh, industrial microbe is it must be capable of growth and product formation in large scale culture this is first requirement if microbe is not capable of growing in large scale that it has no role in the industrial process it should be reduced spore or other forms to disperse easily in large tank for inoculation it must be grow fastly and produce desired product in relatively short period of time because low longer duration this is longer duration will increase the cost of the product microbe must be grow in in experienced medium because we want to keep the input cost low so it must be uh, uh, able to grow in a liquid culture medium obtain in bulk quantities from other um, industries at low price many industrial microbiological process use waste carbon from other industry as a uh, major or supplemental ingredients for large scale culture these media include corn stipliker which is rich in uh, nitrogen and carbon sod which is uh, obtained from the uh, wet press milling of the maize whey which is obtained from the uh, cheese manufacturing plants and molasses of sugar industry either from uh, beet or sugar cane next quality it should not be pathogenic it should not be pathogenic or produce any pathogenic product and is industrial microbe should not uh, produce any type of compound which is uh, especially uh, harmful to humans or economically important uh, animals or plants because of the uh, and because of the high cell densities in industrial microbial process and the virtual impossibility of avoiding contamination of the environment outside the growth vessel a pathogen would present potential uh, potential disaster problem so avoid this type of micro to be selected as a industrial micro next quality is it can easily be genetically engineered and industrial micro should be amenable uh, to genetically changes because increased yield are often obtained by means of mutation or classical genetic selection techniques a genetically stable and easily engineered microorganism is a advantages for an industrial process so in the bottom advantages of microorganism over plant or animal as inputs in 
इंडस्ट्रियल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इज नंबर वन माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म ग्रो रैपिडली इन कंपैरिजन विद प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स द स्पेस रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द ग्रोथ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इज स्मॉल एंड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म आर नॉट सब्जेक्ट टू द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द विसिट्यूट्स ऑफ वेदर बिकॉज एक्सटर्नल वेदर फ्लक्चुएशन विल नॉट अफेक्ट ऑन इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोसेस माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म आर नॉट अफेक्टेड बाय डिसीज ऑफ प्लांट एंड एनिमल एज एवरी पैथोजन हैविंग ए स्पेसिफिक होस्ट स्पेसिफिसिटी फॉर दैट्स वाई माइक्रोब्स आर नेचुरली इम्यून टू प्लांट और एनिमल डिसीज सो इट इज बेनिफिशियल थैंक यू